Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about product cultivation and secondary agriculture. I am going to cover the topic moisture measurements as well with the direct method as well as indirect method with the moisture measurement uh, units. So we can move to the video. So the first one I am going to explain about the moisture content. So which is nothing but the amount of water which is present in your product as well as any produce which is expressed on the base of water as well as usually expressed in percentage of weight present in those product as well as produces. So the percentage moisture can be expressed on two methods as well as two bases. So they are known as wet basis and dry basis. So the for calculating moisture content on wet basis. So MWD is equal to wet moisture divided by weight weight with uh, water into 100 as well as moisture content divided by dry basis is where the moisture of dry basis is equal to total weight of matter divided by weight of dry matter into 100 so it's how the moisture content is to be determined and there is also a conversion factor of wet moisture content into dry moisture content by using this formula so the moisture present in dry basis is equal to moisture by wet basis divided by 1 minus moisture by wet basis so it's how the moisture of dry basis is convert wet basis is converted into dry basis with the help of formula and now we can able to go for direct method of moisture content so the first one we can able to use for measuring the moisture content or oven method which is also known as hot air oven and a vacuum oven so based on what we have we can able to calculate the direct measure so in this one we can able to see in the see the moisture present in the produce as well as the product by placing the product in the hot air oven at a particular temperature with a specific time and temperature uh, in the ovens so that we can able to reduce the weight due to the loss of moisture and the moisture content is estimated from the particles so these are said to be um, there are standards which are the temperature and duration for drying sample products are prescribed from ASCC, ASTM AS, ABE as well as ASTA so these are the four standard um, temperatures as well as duration for dry sample methods are given so the society's uh, full forms are ASCC is American Society of Serial Chemists ASTM is a American Standard of Testing and Method AS, ABE is American Society of Agriculture and Biological Engineers and ASTA is American Spice and Traders Association so each and every society gives uh, different standards prescribed for their uh, samples and uh, temperature based on the product and uh, the next one is uh, distillation method so which is the first one i am going to tell is uh, toluene distillation method with the dean stark apparatus and there is also another one method we can able to see that in next uh, next slides so the first one toluene distillation method in this method the moisture is estimated with the help of dean stark apparatus so the apparatus used to consist of round bottle uh, bottom flask condenser as well as moisture collection tube and uh, the moisture water collection tube is provided with or without graduation and a cork to drain the water uh, present as well as observed from the produce and the flask and bean star apparatus are connected to the condenser and the weight of the gra gra ground sample which is the base sample is said to be around 5 to 10 grams are said to be used in Dean Stark apparatus is placed in the flask with toluene or xylone and also with known volume of water to completely immerse the sample and the toluene and xylone are used in the preparation of distilling process because they are only the fireproof material and these are the pictures of Dean Stark apparatus and uh, in this process the apparatus is to be placed with heating mantle at a degree of 82 degrees centigrade 100 as well as 100 degree 10 degrees centigrade for a xylone water and toluene respectively and then cooling water is to be circling um, circled through the running space in the chamber and, uh, and then when the water toluene or xylone is heated well the sample is also get heated and the moisture present in the sample will evaporate and reach the condenser and when the cooling system circulates through the condenser the moisture is said to be vaporized in the toluene which will get condensed and collected in the moisture collection tube so from the graduations of product produced the amount of water collected is noted and which the moisture is collected from the sample which is said to be recorded in the directors from the same sample 
and the next one is tullian distillation method using brown jewel apparatus so brown jewel apparatus is similar to dean stark method but um, which used to have some similar changes so this apparatus used to have round bottom flask condenser as well as moisture collecting tube as like as dean stark apparatus so the moisture or water in the collection tube is provided with some graduations with the, which is to be noted and the flask and the apparatus are connected with a condenser as well as already seen in Dean Stark apparatus, it also used to require 5 to 10 gram of weighted ground sample which is said to be placed in the flask and filled with the mineral oil which is known volume of completely immersed in the sample and the apparatus said to be placed in the heating mantle and heated at 100 degrees Celsius. So in Dean Stark apparatus, it used to have 3 degrees Celsius, 82, 100 and 110 but in brown jewel apparatus, it is only at 100 degrees Celsius. So the cooling water is be circulated through the running shows. As I have told you, it is the picture of dual brown dual apparatus. So in the condenser where the water is to be cooled with the circulating water with the condenser. And when the mineral oil is to be heated, the sample is to be get heated and the moisture present in the sample will evaporate and reach the condenser. And when the cooling water circulate through the condenser as I have already shown you in the picture the vapor will get condensed and collected in the moisture collecting tube so from the graduation point the amount of water can be collected and noted and thus how the boiling point of the mineral oil can be heated and taken care in the apparatus and the next uh, one is direct measurement using infrared moisture meter so we can also use to measure the moisture percentage with the help of infrared radiation as well as high temperature which makes the water molecule or moisture to be lost its chemical structure in the instrument and the consist of infrared lamp to steady heat for drying the sample using infrared so the input power of the lamp can be provided up to 0 to 250 watts as a result of great penetration of heat through them is possible is the convention method so they use it to make the dry the sample and uh, so that we can able to measure the wet um, wet moisture percentage as well as the dry moisture percentage and the input volume is said to be varied as well as auto transfer based on the produce we have placed and the two aluminum disc mounted on the brush bearing vertically and torsion wire is fixed between them and posited through the pointer assembly and one of these two discs is graduated from 0 to 100 percentage of moisture in 0.2 percentage division by heating the sample from infrared source the loss in moisture is said to be estimated nowadays even now the halogen lamps are used in place of infrared trace lamps so which is also a better upgradation and the next we are going for indirect methods so while seeing in indirect methods they are used to have resistant capacity as well as conductance of the moisture content by the particle or said to be noted using this electric machining you circuit the moisture content is indirectly measured accordingly they are calibrated to measure the moisture content with um, based on the pro produce resistant capacitance as well as conductance so the moisture content is said to be measured so the most used electronic circuits for indirect method of moisture meter measurements are psaw digital moisture meter method as well as uni universal moisture meter methods so first I am going to show you a yeah, PSW um, AW digital moisture meter method. So which is a moisture meter which uh, usually designed for quick and accurate determination of moisture content of to the wide range of organic as well as many inorganic materials. So the instrument is specially designed for apparatus like uh, dry granules substances like food grains, seeds, pulses, spices and dehydrates. And uh, the next one is universal moisture meter which is uh, also known as OSAW universal moisture meter is used for quick determination of percentage moisture which used to show the moisture content in the wide range of organic and many inorganic materials the instrument is mostly suitable for dry granule substances such as food grains, seeds, pulses, spices as well as dehydrated foods so the given temperature and moisture percentage in the material is directly read by the correlated dial which uh, used to make use of any short or mathematical calculations of the particular produced moisture content is measured so it is the picture of universal moisture meter and uh, the next one we are going to see is equilibrium moisture content so equilibrium moisture content you can able to give the definition as the solid as well as gas in the equilibrium and the moisture content of the solid present in equilibrium with the surrounding is to be known as equilibrium moisture content so where we can able to short it as emc 
and which is useful to determine a product with gain or loss of moisture with given set of temperature and relative humidity conditions and uh, EMC is directly related to drying and storage of the produce and which is used to depend on the temperature and relative humidity of the environment and uh, it can be used to measure different variety and maturity of grains storage as well as drying per, uh, percentage and grain isotherms are generally S-shaped and it is attributed to multi molecular absorption of the moisture contents so while seeing about the determination of equilibrium moisture content there are said to be two methods they are the first one is static method and the next one is dynamic methods and now we can able to see the final ones so which are bound unbound and free moisture per moisture molecules which are said to be present in the producers so the first one i am going to tell you is bound moisture so which is refers to the moisture content by the substance which used to exert equilibrium vap uh, vapor pressure less than the pure liquid at the same temperature and uh, the bound moisture is said to be contained inside the cells of the produce which is said to be present inside the cells of the grains so moisture in loose chemical combination with the grain material and moisture held in capabilities with the grain are also said to be known as bound moisture and the next one is unbound moisture which is said to be the moisture contained by the substance with the exert equilibrium vapor uh, vapor pressure so which is said to be as equal to that of pure liquids so which is said to be present outside the cells and the free moisture which is said to be refers to the moisture which is said to be present in excess to the equilibrium moisture only free vapor can be evaporated in free moisture content of solid so which is used to depend upon the vapor concentration in the air or said to be measured in free moistures so i have given the lecture notes in description so please comment about the video and join us in the instagram page to ask your doubts so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bc culture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i will catch up in next videos